Eeny everyone, Mary here again. Um, gosh, I think it's been about a month, right? I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, I've been pretty busy lately, obviously. And I am so happy to say that I have passed my arborist test. So I am a certified arborist now. That means I am an expert on trees. Um, you can look it up, I guess, but I just wanted to say it because I'm so relieved I passed. Um, it was a nerve-wracking experience for me, even though it was a multiple-choice test. Um, but yeah, I, I imagine uh, many of you can relate, you know, in college or in high school or whenever, taking a test and, you know, you come across a question that you don't know quite much about, but you just make a guess anyway. I pass pretty well, but yeah, that's just what's been happening with me, studying a lot for the test. And it worked. <laughs> Anyhow, I just wanted to talk about um, um, stuff that I've heard about on the internet. Um, I have heard about it before, but it didn't really just come up to me until, or make an issue with me, until not too long ago, just a couple of days ago, when some people on the forums were talking about it, the forums I belong to following the sun, and it just, you know, made me want to talk about it, because it's something I feel very strongly about, and it's probably maybe a bit convention or, um, not conventional, but uh, controversial. Uh, it's something that in the pagan community is probably much not, very, very much not conventional. Um, and that's something called God spousing. Um, I've heard of it before, but I didn't really think of it much. I was, it was more of a curiosity to me rather than anything serious until some people started talking about it on the following the sun forms and um, for those of you who don't know uh, God spousing is when somebody believes that they're the mortal consort of a deity um, generally the the claimant believes that they're uh, that they and the deity are in a romantic or sexual relationship and or pretty much um, it can be just romantic, it can be um, not sexual, it can be just lovers or not spouses, but you know, a lot of the time, um, from what I have read, um, the claimant believes that they are literally in a marriage with the deity. And that can include, you know, all sorts of things, including sex. Um, I did ask a few questions about it on the forums. Um, when some people were talking about it and one forum member said it's like um, being the bride of Christ um, something similar to like a very deep devotion to that deity where you put them on the same level as um, as one would a spouse um, but you know I don't really think so I mean it's it's more than just deep devotion to that one deity I mean, you know, from what I have read, the claimant literally believes that they are in a some type of romantic or sexual and or really uh, sexual relationship with, you know, whatever deity that you know they're they're claiming to be with. Um, from what I read, Loki and Thor from the Norse pantheon is very popular. Maybe that's because of, you know, the recent uh, movies with uh, the Marvel heroes or, you know, comic books and everything like that. I don't know. I can't say. Uh, but comedic deities are not unheard of. Like, uh, there are two people on the forums who believe that they are lovers or god spouses of Anpu or Anubis. Um, I've also seen a blog of somebody who believes that they're the consort of Ra. So yeah, definitely, definitely, comedic deity is rare but not unheard of. And you know, I voiced this on the forums, and I've been pretty polite about it. But honestly, I have uh, a lot of deep objections 
um, to this uh, type of belief. Um, for one thing, it doesn't really have very much of a historical base, you know, pretty much little no historical base. I mean, you know, if somebody were claiming that they were um, the god spouse of a, a Greek or Norse deity, I could say, you know, hands up, I don't know. Because, you know, obviously, uh, especially in the Greek pantheon, um, they get around. Um, you know, especially like Zeus or... or um, some of the other male deities in that in that pantheon, um, <laughs> you know, they're kind of. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't want to make little of the Greek gods, but um, you know, they are known in very many myths to uh, have taken mortal consorts, spou or not spouses so much, but uh, you know, they, you know, they had relations with mortal people in myths. And so, if somebody were to claim that, you know, I, I am the god spouse of Zeus, or Hermes, or Helios, or whoever, you know, I'd be like, mm, I don't know, maybe, who knows. Um, but uh, I have more of an objection to comedic deities, and not just because, you know, maybe I have a personal stake in it, but because, yeah, in terms of historical value, I don't see a whole lot of evidence towards that. I mean, you did have, you know, the pharaoh claiming to be the son of Amun or Ra. You did have the god's wife of Amun, all that sort of thing. But in all reality, I mean, whenever I re read about that sort of thing, I never believed it because <sighs> when the pharaoh says, I am the son of Amun, or Ra, or like Hatshepsut, when she said, I'm the daughter of Ra in her temple, she has this whole story going on about her mother sleeping with Amun so that she would be born and she's a legitimate heir to the throne. It's all a claim to royal legitimacy. Divine right. It's like God, God wants me to rule, so I'm supposed to be the king. And the Egyptians were no different. I mean, you know, you can you can say that the Egyptians were better or worse. I'm like, I'm saying they're no different from any other civilization. They, you know, claim divine right in order to have legitimacy to their throne. You know, it doesn't make them particular particularly special in that right. You know, um, you know, you have uh, people throughout, like uh, all throughout Europe, claiming, you know, God wants me to rule, so. Um, I'm going to rule. I'm going to be the king. Um, and I don't think the Egyptians were any different in that respect. And they just used, I'm the son of, you know, insert uh, Ra or Amun or whoever. Uh, uh, often uh, the deity that's at the head of all the pantheon uh, in order to try and say, I'm supposed to be king, you know. Um, or in the case of like God's wife of Amun or some other instances, I mean these people were priests or priestesses. Um, and so far from what I've seen uh, of people claiming to be God's spouses, I mean they're not, you know, you know, royalty or government leaders. They're not priests or priestesses of any particular group. So what I'm I'm gonna just say is like you ain't that special, I'm sorry, but you aren't. Um, and oftentimes it's pretty much limited to Amun and Ra. I mean, you know, um, these uh these uh two two persons on uh, the forums are claiming to be the uh, god spouses. I it, loosely, um, or lovers or 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 however you'd like to put it of Anpu or Anubis and I have never heard of anything in all my studies of ancient Egypt of this sort of thing happening with anything or any other deity other than Amun or Ra and you know pretty much that's just due to the the legitimacy of the throne part uh, I've never heard of any priests or priestesses who are in romantic relationships with the uh, any other deities historically. And obviously, um, 
<laughs> this has some deep implications about the Netru and other gods, really, for the most part, because I remember reading uh, this one girl's blog about um, uh, God spousing, and she was going into this huge rant. She's like, well, you don't know my relationship with my, you know, the God that I'm married to or whatever, so who the are you to say, you know, has like, insert all these expletives here. <laughs> but honestly, you know, she's, she was complaining about, you know, why, you know, she's like, well, why are you so offended? And it's like, well, there are lots of reasons why people would be offended. It's lots of reasons why, I mean, I say, I am offended when somebody says that they're, you know, having a relationship in that fashion with a deity or more specifically, the Netru. Because to me, the Netru are our creators, our family, our guides, our teachers. And God, God spousing is a violation of that relationship. Um, it's, it's a bit like, <laughs> I, I really, you know, it, it's sad. I mean, this is honest, and this is how I feel, and you guys might not like it. Um, but I'm just going to say it, put it out there anyway. I'm just going to say it. Um, it, it feels when somebody says that, you know, I'm having a relationship with Anpu or Amun or this or that or whoever, um, it feels a lot like, you know, I'm having sex with my dad or my uncle or something like that, or, uh, a teacher abusing a student, you know? Or a boss stopping your co-worker. I mean, you know, uh, gods, in my mind, are, you know, a step higher above us. And when, you know, you say that you're having this kind of relationship with that, I mean, it's an abuse of authority to me. Um, you know, because... I mean, I've even heard of, oh my goodness, I've even heard of people saying, you know, oh, I'm being abused by my uh, spouse who is a deity. Um, and it's mind-boggling to me because um, it's implying that the natural are, you know, uh, violating a very sacred and special role um, and that they're promiscuous or they need, you know, jollies or whatever like humans need. I mean, like, you know, I'm probably skipping ahead. I don't believe that the Netru are totally perfect beings like in, you know, uh, omnibenevolent or omnip omnipotent or anything like that. Um, but I don't believe that that's so imperfect or flawed that they're just going to go around and, you know, stoop whoever looks uh, particularly good or you know, make super bad decisions like humans do. I mean, you know, they, they don't, I don't believe that they fraternize with morals like the Greek pantheon. I was never interested in the Greek pantheon for that very reason. Um, you know, I never, I never ever wanted to worship Zeus or any of the great deities like Helios or Athena or anything because I had, you know, read uh, the mythology, you know, when I was in school about the Greeks and the Romans and all that. And it's like, well, these gods don't really appeal to me because they're just, you know, crazy. They're, they are they sound like crazy people to me, you know? And I, I'm sorry to any Hellenic th polytheists who may be listening to this. It's just, I guess it's just, you know, my difference with, you know, the way deities act, I guess. Um, and also too, I mean, it really kind of implies that, you know, they're not really worthy of worship to me if they're going to act like that. Um, it's kind of like that ancient alien video. If the, the Netru or the gods are really more like us, then why bother worshiping them? Because, you know, for me, Believing in God is believing something bigger than yourself. Um, it's not, you know, um, anything like, gosh, um, 
I mean, I love my folks. I love my family. I love my parents. But I understand that they're human and I'm not going to, you know, give them worship all the time. I mean, I mean, who honestly worships their parents like they do with, you know, like gods or God or anything like that? Would you, you know, worship your parents like you would Jesus? I don't worship my gods like I would my parents. <laughs> Sometimes I have a hard time respecting my parents, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, so obviously, if you know, it's like if the Nedra are really like that, then why bother worshiping them in my mind? Um, so, you know, uh, lastly, I guess, you know, it's kind of like, well, why do people really believe this in the first place? Why do they really believe that uh, deities are trying to get jollies with them or anything? Um, and obviously the first thing is delusional. I mean, you know, you, there's this one video on, on YouTube about, from this one guy, Mundane Matt, about God, spouse, God spousing, and he believes that they're delusional. Um, you know, they may be lacking love or respect, and they may need to make up a relationship to be, to be loved, um, you know, because they feel lonely, and so they say, well, maybe this deity loves me like that, so, you know, I can you know, be in a relationship, you know, feel validated that way. Or maybe they want to feel validated because, you know, I'm better than everyone else, or I feel more special than uh, other people because I'm in this relationship. You know, they may be friends or family with this particular deity, but I'm their lover. Maybe, you know. I'm not a psychologist or anything, so, you know, I'm, I'm nowhere near qualified to, uh, really make a, you know, concrete uh, uh, diagnosis on that. It's more speculation. Um, I guess another thing could be, you know, they're just mistaken. They're reading too much into a deity's feelings or actions. You know, maybe a, the deity does feel deep love toward them, but it's not more romantic love, but they misinterpret it that way. I mean, this thing is, this, this sort of thing is very common throughout you know, all of humanity. I mean, you know, you even have, you know, counselors who have been stalked by their clients or something like that. Um, because, you know, the, the person is mistaken into believing that, you know, this person actually loves them. Or, you know, it, it can happen with anybody, you know, you treat somebody nice and then they start, um, you know, paying more and more and more attention to you until it gets to a point where it's like almost stalking. I've read about this because you're just nice to them. Um, or another, another thing I was thinking of, it's, could be another entity pretending to be a deity, like a spirit, you know, something that, uh, like a ghost spirit, something that could pretend that they're a deity, um, but they still feel the, uh, it's like maybe they feel that, uh, they would gain more legitimacy or... Um, they could gain that person's trust better if they presented themselves as a deity, and so they could get their jollies that way. Who knows? But it's like for these reasons and doubts and everything like that, I don't believe in God spousing at all. And you may be you may be angry with me. You may want to disagree with me. You may even want to flame my video. Uh, you know, that's that's fine. Um, you're entitled to your opinion, you're entitled to be in a relation, or you're entitled to have your relationship with a deity, you know, however you like. I can't control you, and I won't control you, because it's your choice. But, you know, if you talk about it on a forum, or if you talk about, or if I ever meet a person who has this kind of thing, you know, I will speak up and say, uh, I don't believe you. Uh, for these and this and this reason. I mean, I, I don't want to say that you're completely insane because I don't know what your situation is or what's going on between you and said entity or net or God or, or whoever. But my initial reaction is going to be skepticism. So, you know, if you want to comment, if you want to make a further discussion about it, I am all ears or eyes uh, in terms of reading or whatever. Um, just keep it civil. Um, 
you know, if you're going to decide to rant at me and use some really nasty language, um, I'll probably delete the, the comment or something. I mean, you know, there's no reason to keep that sort of vitriol on, on any page, much less mine. So, you know, keep it civil, keep it reasonable, and uh, thank you, and Synepti.